there's a lot of uh, fluctuation in the market, even though we've gone through a real period of the lockdowns, inoculation rates have risen across most markets. So the great thing is we're actually coming back, we're coming back into the office, into towns and cities and life's returning to some form of normality. But we've got an overhang on decisions around, say, the office market, what occupiers want to do with their space, how they want to embed agile working and how that's going to shake the office market out. We've got rising inflation, we've got rising costs, we've got bottlenecks in supply chains across Europe, we've got changing geopolitics in China, the US and in Europe. And on top of that, which links to all of it, we've got lots of different changes with regards to ESG, how it's benchmarked, how it's governed, how it's regulated. So there's a lot of big impacts coming and it's going to mean a, a lot of discourse and a lot of discussions to really try and figure out what's the best solution for both occupiers and landlords out of this whole fluctuation that's coming. Colliers are primarily addressing these challenges with their clients, well challenges and opportunities through, through discourse, through engagement, through meetings, sharing sort of thoughts and ideas around what's keeping them awake at night, what are their key challenges and what do they think the future holds, whether it's an investor looking for opportunities, or an investor looking to downsize or, or trade out assets, or occupiers trying to consider, you know, where do they expand to next, how do they uh, optimize their platform across Europe for production, let alone for office occupancy. So there are multiple things that we could do to help and support the occupier in the next 24 months. If I think about it from my own perspective as a head of research, I think it's getting in front of clients, being very objective about the trends that we see, using data to drive that as much as opinion, just to give them up to the minute ideas as to what is happening now and what is likely to continue to impact their decisions in the next 24 months.